he came to bear witness to the light. The true light, the one that enlightens every man. From the divine mystery of Mary, just celebrated, to the divine mystery of the light, which descended from heaven, and who came to dwell among us, the mystery of the infant God. On this Sunday of Advent, of preparation, to the birth of the divine child, the figure of the Baptist is placed in the center of the precursor, of the one who prepared the way of the Lord. That in this passage just proclaimed, emphasis is given to two parts, very distinct from each other. Both sent, on the one hand, the priests and Levites. The text says, sent by the Pharisees, and therefore sent by men. And on the other John, instead, sent by God. This clear contrast is therefore evident, among those who, are guided by the logic of men. And of the one that is guided by the will of God, and to his will, only relies. It is this difference, it is the same that is between night and day. Between darkness and light. Night, darkness of these priests. And Levites. Because they remain in the darkness of one's own limited human reasoning. Because it's not possible with the human measure, understand the things of God. And why do they not let the path of their existence be illuminated by the only light, able to lighten the darkness of their hearts, Jesus, Christ, light? And what is even more dramatic is the fact that it is precisely the priests, the Levites, that is, those who in the Jewish people were responsible for divine worship. And they were accredited by that people as spokesperson of God. So many similarities with these times. Times when there are so many, those who boast of titles, lofty, such as Monsignor, His Excellency, His Eminence. But then with their polished speech, they do nothing but express, the dramatic absence of the most important thing of all, the love for God. There where charity is lacking, everything is missing. Who lacks love towards God's sheep, and who denies conversions and healings, bodily and spiritual, denies God's saving action. Denies the work of the Holy Spirit. In this regard Jesus said to Maria Giuseppina, terrible is the sin against the Holy Spirit, which consists in denying the truth, which isn't just made up of blasphemy, but it is the denial of divine power. I am ready to welcome the sinner who repents. But the Pharisees do not want to repent. They despise penitence, and thus do not put themselves in a position to be forgiven. But great sin indeed is that of denying the conversions of souls, because it is God himself who transforms and renews them. It happens again today. What happened then with those priests and those Levites, who well knew the sacred scriptures, so much so that they turned to the Baptist saying, Are you Elijah? Are you the prophet? Demonstrating to know, the story of Elijah. And the story of the prophets. But what good did their human knowledge do them, if then they didn't recognize the will of God, that in that man was being manifested? How not to go back to these times? To the learned and wise of today. Who have not understood because they didn't want to understand and accept, that Mary Josephine, had welcomed Jesus into her heart. That hers, were not mere personal meditations. As established by excellent characters. But that Jesus spoke to her many times to form, and to lead the people on the path to salvation. Preparing as the Baptist did then, the way of the Lord, that today in this church, manifest itself. Well says St. Paul about them, while they claimed to be wise, they became foolish. The human logic that guides the priests and Levites of yesterday, together with those of today, is also revealed by the way in which these priests and these Levites, turn to John to understand who he was. They tell him, what do you say about yourself? In doing so, they always put men in the center, to the detriment of God. What is happening today? A time in which the name of God is exploited. To bring everyone to a new humanism. Which is totally empty of God, in his essence and in his substance. But so it is not for John. And so it was not for Maria, Giuseppina. The day, an illuminated day by the power of the Son of God. John in his response almost seems to disappear putting the one thing at the center that really matters to him, the will of God, and the plan of salvation, that the Lord has for all humanity. And in fact he answers, I am voice of one shouting in the desert. Prepare the way of the Lord. As the prophet Isaiah said. Here the Baptist addresses, refers to the words of the prophet Isaiah. Present at the beginning of the book of the Consolation of Israel. In which the prophet says, a voice shouts, in the desert prepare the way for the Lord. Straighten out the step, the way to our God. 
And then, the glory of the Lord will be revealed. And every man will see it. Because the mouth of the Lord, has spoken. With his answer, John, also shows that he too has an excellent knowledge of Holy Scripture. But unlike those priests, his heart is full of the love of God. And so, with the help of his Holy Spirit, is able to actualize in his present, what he was living in that moment, the words pronounced by the prophet Isaiah, as much as five centuries earlier. And this is one of the many gifts of the Holy Spirit, that is able to bring back to the present, that which belongs to the eternal. Precisely the eternal present, which is God. Because only God, was, is and always will be. So did in these times the woman of God, who welcomed into her heart the Spirit of God, that in this land of love dwells, because so it pleased the Father. In the same way, today, we can start from the desert of the prophet Isaiah, to pass to the desert of the precursor John, and reach the desert of another John, the Apostle, that in the last book, the book of Revelation, writes, were given to the woman, the two wings of the great eagle. To fly in the desert, towards the shelter prepared for her. There is the Christological symbol of the eagle. Because with her great wings, she is able to touch the highest peaks of heaven. There is the desert. Place where by definition, doesn't arrive din and noise of the world, and in which, in the silence of the spirit, it's possible to stay in touch with one's inner dwelling. And then, there is she, Mary. The woman dressed with the sun. With the moon under her feet. And on her head, a crown of twelve stars. Mary, Mother Church. That in this time, was brought by the sun, in a shelter, in a place, prepared by him, in these times of great apostasy, to defend the purity of the faith. And therefore to be fulfilled, is being fulfilled and always more will be fulfilled. The words of the prophet Isaiah will be fulfilled the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and every man will see it, because the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And those of the precursor, voice of one shouting in the desert. That one who is God. That one that here makes himself for everyone. For all those who welcome and who would like to welcome his voice. That in this place is manifested through revelations, spirituality, celebrations, songs, and prayers. To be able to ascend to heaven. To be reborn from above. On high with spirit and with the heart remain. In that time the Baptist baptized with water in the Jordan River. In this time, thanks to Maria, Giuseppina, the Eternal Maiden. Thanks to her testimony to the light. So many hearts here have been able to receive the essence of the Christian baptism. As we have heard by Bishop Alexander, in the meditation of the eve of this holy day. Let's make desert, around our heart, turning off every din of the world. Keeping away every pitfall and temptation. So that in this time of grace, listen to the voice of God, which speaks to our heart. Listen, little remnant of God's Israel. The voice of your Lord, who has returned, is here. Let us be docile like Mary. To listen and answer yes, to the call received and bear much fruit, day after day. And for those who do not yet know this place of grace. This center of the infinite mercy of God. I say, come, in this font of the Spirit. Come, in this labor of souls. Come to this land blessed by the Father and from the Mother, Most Holy Mary. To receive a baptism, made of spirit and life and obtain the only wisdom that saves, Christ, light of the world. And so be it.